Hello and welcome back. So, thank you for joining me again. This is my video playthrough or replay through of an old save that I found on a hard drive from 2020. In the last video we looked at Sanctuary and we're just going to go settlement by settlement across the map and see what we discover because I really do not know or cannot remember the majority of what I built in, in this playthrough. It's a survival mode playthrough. The character is called Claire. Um, no particular reason for that. That's just what I chose. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's continue. So you can see that I've decided to build some sort of um, over the top vault structure above ground rather than underground so I'm struggling a little bit with the uh, the immersiveness of this why would this be here what would it be for however we've expanded the farm somewhat that's all sorted people are having to sleep in ships it's making everyone let's go to the top Nice lighting effect coming through there, through the scrappy top of the building. Our vault door. So I think what would be nice if I do decide to um, expand or continue this build is to um, junk fence around here. Well, that's a lot of fencing, a lot of rug glitch. But it would just hide that sort of concrete blockness and maybe break up the aesthetic. I think maybe try and fill these gaps in here with some glass. I think that could look good too. Let me know what you think. As always, um, in the comments. Yeah, fencing has got to be done, hasn't it, around here? Cool. Okay, so I do like the fact that this is kind of broken up ever so slightly with this warehouse entrance. So, in we go. Okay. So yeah, this would be the walkway round. Make this in some sort of outside area, I believe. We have a door. I'll be a back door, we'll come to that. Yeah, I love the lighting effect coming through all these broken windows. And the same down here, I think, just another walkway. Yeah. Probably need to build some defences. So yeah, I guess I've just focused on the structure and not decorated it at all. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like I definitely have work to do. I like this as an entrance hall. You could even put the, um, the traders around here, couldn't you? That would be nice. Coming through here. The stairs. I like a little alcove, that could be like a little a bar, potentially. Then we branch off into some different rooms. Yeah, these will be bedrooms. We'll come back to the upstairs. Uh, finish the downstairs first. 
I do like the height you get with the atrium building parts as well. Radio, so this is our side entrance I guess. just be the, the basement storage room I guess and you know we could maybe even use this for, for crops you know put some lights up get myself lost <laughs> I've already seen that one um, okay down into that staircase, little balcony area, that's pretty cool. It would be nice if you could fix these railings, but I don't know if we have the parts for that. Little outside balcony. I do like this construction, kind of like with the pillars, and then you can make your way up to the different levels. But what would we use it for? That's the question. I think it's probably just a structure for the structure's sake. down the middle, that'd look cool. So yeah, that's pretty much all we're going to get for, for our Nathy farm. Um, so not decorated, not furnished, but a real decent bare bones I would say for me to build upon. Frame rate doesn't seem too bad either so I guess that does give me a good opportunity to decorate. So yeah let me know your thoughts. Would you do anything differently? And where would you go with it? And let me know where I could go with it. thing we need to do 
There's a trap in there also. Righty-ho. So, where next? That is the question. Okay, so we know Sanctuary, Red Rocket, nothing is there. Abernathy Farm, we've done. Starlight Drive-In, definitely there's something there, but I have no idea what that might be. Grey Garden. Yeah, I think there's got to be some... How many robots do you usually get? Is it six or eight? So I guess we've got the potential for Grey Garden, although they don't look too happy. Covenant is kind of like my hub for all of my supply lines. Tuffington Boathouse, probably got something there. The slug, got quite a few people. Green top, no. Finch farm, that's probably just standard. The lighthouse. Ah, so that's the that's probably where I just built the uh, the teleporter. Mm, Croup Manor, possibly. Although I don't remember doing anything at Croup Manor. Lord Hagen Beach, we said last time, is probably a most definite. And I think the main thing with this playthrough was the uh, the Vault 88. So I think that will be our ultimate goal. Probably for the final part of this mini-series, we'll, we'll end up at the Vault. Um, so yeah, I think next is probably Grey Garden, if we take a little route south. As we did last time, we'll take a, a quick two minute run down the road. And have a little sneak preview of what is to come in the next part. Remembering what weapons I've got as well. Because it's survival mode, it's just whatever I've picked up, it's not necessarily it's anything I've chosen. Yeah, good old instigating 10mm always will do the trick against a random raider. So I will say goodbye and um, we'll see you at the next one.